Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Costco and Sam's Club food storage haul to keep up with our three month supply of food. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. So we're in my food storage room. Uh, kind of loud because you can probably hear the freezers going but I wanted to share with you what I look for at Sam's Club and Costco when I am shopping to rejuvenate our three month supply of food so this is my three month supply of food storage if you want to know more about that click the eye in the sky or in the link below I'm always rotating this food and I talk about it in that video everything gets rotated everything is used in meals everything here belongs to a meal that we eat so nothing goes to waste so I'm going to share with you what I get at Costco and Sam's Club to replenish this we do budget for our food storage recently we have bought a little bit more for our food storage we upped our budget so we ended up getting a generator thank goodness this has been on our wish list for years you guys for years finally nabbed our generator we're really excited about because we got to keep our fridge and freezer going when something happens and our electricity goes out so I'm really excited about that and I just did a Costco and Sam's Club food storage haul that I'm going to share with you so let's jump into Costco first I like to try to get water whenever I can and we ended up using a lot of our water this past summer just for trips and things that we were doing so I stocked up on two of these. There's 40 waters. It's good to have water set aside for emergencies, drinking, whatever. So these were cheap, so I grabbed two. Always have toilet paper on hand, but let's be nice about it. <laughs> so we have a few rolls left. Well, I'd probably say we have two, two sections like this left, so I grabbed another one, but I'm always trying to stay a few packages ahead but you should always have at least one big package or whatever um, for your emergency storage applesauce is a good thing to have on hand um, it could be used as a replacement for oil when you're baking but also just a sweet treat so um, I looked on the box for the expiration on these these were on sale too so this is 24 apple and 12 cinnamon this is something you guys have seen me buy over the years. It's great to have in your food storage. This is good till July of next year. So that's good to have on hand. I ran out of um, semi-sweet morsels. These are good to have in your food storage. There, you can take this out, put them in your food saver bags and use your food saver um, for these. You can put them in mason jars with a tight lid as well. So we needed more, um, but I think maybe the next time I go, I'll grab another bag, but they should be on sale here soon with the holidays. I definitely recommend having some morsels on hand in your food storage. You know, you, you're stocking up on flour, sugar. It's good to have these to make a treat. All right, some cut green beans. Always have canned vegetables on hand, so I always get green beans. Uh, Mandarin oranges, kids love these. And this time I got baked beans. The kids are really enjoying these. It's an easy canned food item to have. You could really turn it into a meal by adding meat to it. Um, hot dogs or hamburger chunks in there. Um, definitely a good thing to have. So I was out of pancake, the Christie's easy pancake mix. You just add water. It's easy for the kids to use. So I needed another bag, but I grabbed two for the food storage. This is a great thing to have on hand when things times are rough or if there's a shortage, you just add water. Then I grab some oats. I do have a few buckets of oats, um, but they're put away in my long-term food storage and I wanted something for my short-term. So I grabbed this and of course I looked at the date and it's good till January of 22. Sugar, always have sugar in your food storage. Store these in buckets put them in food saver bags, put them in Ziploc bags, suck the air out as best you can, put it in a bucket, put a little oxygizing with those little tab like packets in with them, but definitely stock up on sugar. You'll need sugar when times are rough. And then pinto beans. Gosh, you can make refried beans, 
add them to your soups, stews, beans are definitely a must have in your short term and long term food storage. Take these and put them in bags and seal them up, um, keep their freshness, put them in buckets with a tight lid. And then sweet corn. I definitely suggest maybe stocking up on corn right now. Uh, you're going to see the prices go higher and most likely a shortage come the end of the year is my guess, especially with everything that was going on in Iowa. Um, so I grabbed another box of that. And then I love from Lehigh Mills their hard white wheat. This is what I grind up all the time for my wow. wheat bread. I have a few buckets left of these, but I wanted to... I'm always using and going to my buckets to grind. Um, so I'm always trying to replace a bucket as I go along so I could stay up and always have what we need. This is a 45 pound um, thing of wheat. So that's awesome. This can last you guys to the end of time. If it's stored right, not open, like seriously, you can keep this forever. I love how it says when it was packaged, but you, you've got a good 20 to 30 years if you store it correctly, your wheat. So this is what I grabbed today at Costco. Okay, now that we're done with Costco, I'm gonna show you what I recently got at Sam's Club. But it's already in here. Derek was so sweet. I had everything out on the table to film for you. And, and then life got going the next day and he ended up putting everything away. He thought I filmed it already. So I'm gonna show you what is in here that I recently got from Sam's Club. I'm also gonna take you in here and show you some of the food items that I've recently purchased from Costco and Sam's Club to give you an idea of what you can get there as well. We grabbed from Sam's Club the Power Flex 200 count tall kitchen bags. Yeah, you definitely need garbage bags <laughs> in your storage. Um, I just always make sure I'm one, I got one box ready to go and we're almost out of them, so there you have it. I grabbed a big 25 pound bag of the all purpose flour. Rice, this one I got on, let's see, a couple of months ago, the enriched long grain rice um i do have a big big jasmine rice bag in here that we're using right now that um this other this other rice is more for my long-term food storage but can be used for my short term but i need to get it out of this bag and get it prepped and that's coming up um i ended up getting two corn starches i do use a lot not like a lot a lot but i i use corn starch as my thickening agent I also like Xantha gum that does a great job as a thickening agent, but this is easy to get in bulk for storage. This is vinegar. I did get this at Costco. I just didn't share it in that haul. Um, of course, you saw that already. So I grabbed the rice side cheddar and broccoli. This is great to have um, when times are tight. It's a great side dish. It's a great filler to have on hand. All right, and then we got this big thing of crackers here. I am putting some in our 72 hour kit. We're redoing them. I'll have a video on that, but I am going to food saver these and to have them last a little longer as well. So some of those will go in our snack bu bucket and some will get um, preserved basically. Oil, I grabbed two, but um, but two come together so four canola oils in all I use a lot of canola oil with my baking and when I do my bread so I definitely wanted to have some as a backup on hand because when a crisis comes you're not going to be able to find your oil okay so up here that was Costco I did a Sam's Club haul last month um, and I got the cut green beans here so we needed more green beans i do a lot with those so i've got the amount of green beans here and over here that i need for my recipes that i use all the time so if you remember if you watched the three month food storage video i said that I, at least for my um for my shepherd's pie I need 24 cans of green beans. If I were gonna have that every week for three months in a rotation, I, there's a count of beans that I need to have on the shelf. So, and now that fall is here, well, pretty much almost here, we're getting into the winter seasons. We use a lot of green beans in like soups, 
like our minestrone soup, I need the green beans. So I got two more. That will last us for a while. But I'm still going to keep my eye out on sales come Thanksgiving. Did I already? I don't know if I already showed you that. Bush's Baked Beans. We do Boston Baked Beans with these. So on another Sam's Club haul last month, I picked up the Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Uh, we do have ramen. My kids love ramen. But I also love getting the chicken noodle soup. You can also add a lot to this as well. You could add more veggies. I grabbed some more of the normal size applesauce. Remember, I had that from Costco. Um, but this is great to also have on hand on baking, especially if you don't have oil. Um, it's a great filler. It's great to sweeten things with. And so, love having applesauce. We Sometimes I don't always have this on my shelf, but I definitely feel it's a good thing to have in your food storage as well. You just got to watch the dates. This is Best Buy December of 21, so this won't sit on our shelves very long. So always be aware of your dates. I'm in this room all the time checking out the dates. So I did grab the Bush's Pinto Beans, and they, like I said, I use them in a lot of my soups, taco soups, and things like that. I love having ready-to-go beans. It's always great to have beans like this, but when you need something to cook quickly with, it's this is the way to go. So this is what I consider my short-term food storage, and that is I consider my long-term. And then I only have a few um, pinto beans. This whole row, I believe, is pinto beans. So, yes. Do I want to get more? Yes, I definitely do. And then the Bush's Best Black Beans. We go through a lot of black beans with our taco soup, guys. And I have black beans here. I'm good for a little bit, but I definitely want to get more. I do want to get... I do have buckets in my long-term food storage of some black beans. Um, but we are really loving them and eating them more. So, But I, I keep an eye on this and make sure if once this bad boy goes... I'm going to need to get more because, I'm, like I said, we're hitting the season with soups and things. Kidney beans, I don't go through as quickly, so I never really, like, get a ton of those. So this is the Dole variety pack. So it has diced peaches, mixed fruit, and mandarin oranges. It says no sugar added. There's 16 cups in here. These are great for school lunches. These are great to have on hand. Um, so like to keep some fruit cups. Always have some sort of fruit going on. Um, as you can see here, I have sliced peaches and sliced pears, um, that the kids like to have. Pineapple, I do need more pineapple. We've been going through those fairly quickly. And cranberry sauce I like to have on hand. I do make my own jelly, but I love the Welch's jelly. I just wish they would sell the, the low or none cornstarch kind. But it's good to have your jelly if you've got peanut butter. Okay, you gotta have your jelly if you're storing peanut butter. So I have that. I am. Um, I have a few jars left of my freezer jelly um, and shelf jelly. So I needed to have some on the shelf. So there you go. So this is something that we don't get all the time, but it's good to have. I do have buckets of potatoes, um, round ten. They're called ten cans of potatoes. It's good to have. I also have. Some potatoes down here from Thrive. Okay, this is um, this is Thrive Life. I'll leave a link down below. They do a lot of freeze-dried vegetables, and I have some cans in my long-term food storage of potatoes. It's good to have these on hand. So these are potato diced. I try to keep my eye out where I can get a big bag like this size or that size of the hash browns already. I haven't seen any lately for me to purchase. So I want, I got these to have on hand to share and show with you what I'm going to do with them. So the this is really better than frozen, you guys. Seriously better than frozen. The Idaho Spuds hash browns. So when you get them like this, like this is pouches. This is going to last a while. And then if I food saver those pouches, they're going to last an even long time. So this is best before May of 2021, but if I preserve this, cor you know, correctly, it'll last longer. This one here is just a container of flakes. Can you hear that? So it's flaky. I'm definitely going to want to seal those up and make it last longer. 
Um, so this is good before June of 2021, but I'm going to make it last longer with my food saver. And then this as well. This is loose, and I'm going to seal that up to make it last longer as well. But this is a great option to have in your food storage. It's a good thing to have. I Like I said, I have um, cans, bigger cans of this in my long-term food storage that will last a long time like 15 years I believe so like two months ago in my Sam's Club haul I grabbed rice aroni this is a haul that I didn't show you this in so this is chicken rice aroni six boxes um, this is good until June of 2021 but when you get stuff like this make sure you're rotating it make sure you're putting it in your um rotation in your meals brown sugar oh i'll just put it right here for now <laughs> i grabbed three bags of this brown sugar light brown sugar this is seven pounds i grabbed three bags of this and i'm going to be storing this to last longer than the way that it is right now so i got that i nabbed the barilla six boxes of penne we go through penne quicker than any other pasta um, next we go through spaghetti so I wanted to have this on hand oh and I grabbed the Limpton recipe secrets onion soup mix this I use a lot of and a lot of my slow cooker recipes and I grabbed two two boxes of that and then I grabbed the chicken flavor bouillon I have one bouillon that I have in my pantry and we're going through it um, pretty quick so I love having this on hand because canned goods we can go through quicker like of my chicken broth and this you just add it to your water and boom you have chicken broth so it's really I really like having the powder um, more than I do having the cans one it takes up less space <laughs> but this is great great to have so definitely that cream of mushroom soup 10 in here I ended up getting grab some more tomato soup that is for my shepherd's pie I'm trying to think if there was anything else in that haul <sighs> for my food storage no I did get some extra things when I was at Sam's Club like for Halloween I ended up getting these treats here so that you'll see that at Halloween time so that's for Halloween I did get these pans at Sam's Club for my freezer meals boom because I was down to my last one. So you guys, you could see how much you could get at your bulk store. And they have a lot of options. Lots of flour options. Lots of grain options. So if you have a membership and you want to build your food storage, um, I, I really do like going to the bulk stores. I feel like it's a good price. I feel like I get a lot for my money. Oh, I did get some barbecue sauce the sweet baby rays because uh, we were we had one bottle way back here way back here so I knew we were out I'm in this food room so much you guys I visualize it when I'm shopping like even at my other homes I, I just live in here this is where I look every day this is where I menu plan this is where I shop so I usually know when we're low on something and if I'm already at the store and I see a sale, I'm like, oh yeah, I need that, I need that. So, all right, I think that's all the stuff that I got on this haul. Okay, now that I have like the beans and the rice and the flour, I need to store them where they could stay fresh and last long. I have an upcoming video for you where I'm gonna be showing you how you could do this, so stay tuned, because I need to film it because I need to get it to stay fresh, so. Stay tuned for that. What do you look for when you're at the bulk stores? These are the two big bulk stores near me. What do you look for when you are hunting down things for your food storage? Leave them down below. Also, what have you seen at your bulk stores that we don't have? Um, like I said, we, we see the big things of wheat at ours. Do you get the bucket wheat at any of yours? Uh, I would love to know. So what have you seen or what have you gotten in the past for your food storage? So I definitely go check out the three month food storage video. Lots of tips in there for you and how to meal plan and menu plan and be able to rotate through your storage. That's the important thing. We don't want to become hoarders. Everything here we consume. 
and on a weekly basis we're constantly using it um, so we shop our pantry versus shopping the grocery store if you want to build up to something like this it takes time it's not a sprint it's a marathon so check out your sales right now we're entering into the fall season and there's going to be some amazing sales on your canned goods come Thanksgiving oh my goodness this is when I do stock up the most the most is during this time of year you guys I'll really gravitate toward um, my canned cream corn and I need more cream corn I mentioned that on the three month video as well so I have my eye out for that and uh, it's a definitely a good season to stock up and start on your food storage a lot of things on sale so if you want to see how you could create your three month food storage check out that video all right, and if you're a beginner at food storage, I also have a video down below for food storage for beginners as well, so go check that out. I will in the future have a video on long-term food storage and water and all that, but what are some things that you would like to see in the food storage series? Leave that down below. I would love to record that for you. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you soon. Bye.